It's all here. Nothing. Just didn't get much sleep last night. It was you stomping around at three o'clock this morning. Right, run into the bog. No, I'm not having a go. It's this whole place, isn't it? Late at night, you can hear every little creak. Want some bacon? I'll get some on the way to work. But at least have a cup of tea with me. Why, so you can keep an eye on me? Of course not. I told you, Mum, I've done nothing wrong. I want to believe you. Yeah? Well, if I'm so guilty, why was Chrissy arrested? Late night, was it? Something like that. I'm off to the hospital. Are you all right opening up? Sure. How is he? Not good. I keep praying he'll wake up. But that's daft, cos he's in an induced coma. Well, you take all the time you need. I've got things covered here. Thanks. Hi. You busy? I thought maybe we could have breakfast together. I'm going to see Robert. All oh, right. Well, give him my love, won't you? You could do that yourself if you went back to visit him. It's difficult. I'm sort of caught in the middle. It doesn't mean I don't care. I suppose you've got your hands full with Lawrence. How do you mean? Oh, haven't you heard? Chris has been arrested. Well, what's she done now? Attempted murder. Robert? No, she wouldn't. She's got more reason than most. <sighs> Why didn't Lawrence tell me? Maybe he realises how awkward this would make things. This can't be right, surely. I mean, Chris is not a killer. No, oh, I should never have let you go and see Eric. I didn't think that he would confirm my alibi, but I never expected him to do this. Well, he's hardly impartial, is he? Yes, but now everything points to me, doesn't it? I, I'm the wronged wife. They wouldn't have kept me in here if they hadn't made their minds up. Well, Mr Sugden. Sleep well, I trust? Hardly. There's no need to hold her overnight. She's the chief suspect in an attempted murder inquiry. It's reason enough, I'd say. Shall we continue? Hmm. This is a bad idea. Just ignore him. <laughs> Alternatively, I could punch that smirk off his face. We're here for coffee, that's all. Lawrence. head held high. Uh, two cappuccinos, please, Bob. How you doing, mate? I'll be better when my daughter's released from custody. <laughs> wouldn't hold your breath. Deserves everything she gets. Chrissy wouldn't hurt anyone. My wife is six feet under because of her. To be fair, Eric, that doesn't mean that Chrissy shot Robert. I saw her roaming around the village with something in her hand. Did you? Can you prove she was holding a gun? Can you prove she wasn't? Go on, Don't hit me! That's enough! I'm sure Chrissy would love a bit of company. This is about the helicopter crash, isn't it? She's in enough trouble as it is without you making things worse. I told the police exactly what I saw. It's up to them what they make of it. He's doing this out of spite. He's upset about Val, that's all. What, are you taking his side? No, of course not. But screaming at him isn't going to make him see reason. You need to find some way of winning him round. Good luck with that. Tell me about your husband and Aaron Livesey. What? They were having an affair, weren't they? Is that why you shot him? I didn't shoot him, I've already told you. You were at the village that night? I was at the village hall and then I walked home. I, I was at the humpback bridge and I got a phone call from my dad. I was nowhere near the pub. And yet we have a witness who says you were headed in the opposite direction, towards the place Mr Sugden was shot. A witness that you admit bumping into. What did you say to him? I can't remember. You told him you wanted your husband dead, didn't you? No, he's making that up. Mary Pollard blames her for his wife's death. You already know that. He even attacked her with a cricket bat. When was this? A while ago. He broke into my house, smashed everything up and threatened to kill me. Well, that's a serious offence. Why didn't you report it? Well, I wish I had now. Can you prove this happened? Robert saved me from Eric. That's convenient. The only man who can corroborate this is in a coma. What were you holding in your hand? Nothing. A gun? No, how many more times? You had possession of one, we've already admitted that. It was stolen from my safe. A theft we have no record of. Hmm? 
All we know for sure is that a firearm has gone missing, and according to a source, you are the last person to hold it while threatening to kill Robert. This is getting close to harassment. Now, you've taken her statement. Eric Pollard is a hostile witness. You need to charge her or let her go. Interview suspended. 11.31. What long? 